Welcome to Citizen Arcane. Today, just a few books that I've come across on gay and trans history. Uh, to begin, a few honorable mentions, some books that are just on my TBR, for example. I have not read Tinderbox, The Untold Story of the Upstairs Lounge and the Ri Rise of Gay Liberation by Robert W. Fiesler. Um, I have not finished Paul Robeson by Martin Duberman, and I'll go into a little bit more about Martin Duberman in a little bit. Um, Stonewall, The Riots That Sparked the Gay Revolution by David Carter. I actually picked that up because I thought that was the Duberman book by the same name. Just again, Martin Duberman is one of the three historians that I would uh, include in being originators of the Zen school of thought, much bemoaned by uh, many in the education world today. And the third in that would be Staunton Lind. So uh, number five, and this book just comes in because of the paucity of books that I have read, is The Pink Triangle, The Nazi War Against Homosexuals. It did have some information about specifics uh, in how uh, homosexuals were treated differently than other groups that the Nazis uh, persecuted. But it was not a great book. It was not very well written. Um, number four on my, on my list is going to be transgender, transgender History. I came across this one while I was in Asia. It was informative but brief, uh, only 200 pages or so. And uh, there was some good information, really a lot of firsts that I was unaware of, but not, uh, not as good as it could have been. There's probably something out there that can do that job better. Number three, uh, Coming Out Under Fire, Fire by Alex Berube. I hope I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It was written at a time when this was still a hot topic and I was in the military at that time, uh, but I was kind of oblivious uh, to it. Again, this would have been the 1990s, but um, it had a lot of good information about how the military enforced uh, the prohibition of gays. And it did include some extreme incidents where people actually wound up in prison, but I had heard actually that there were special prisons specifically for that purpose on the East and West Coast, but I guess I was just wrong on that. If anybody knows anything about that, let me know. Also, there was not much about uh, former, uh, former service men and service women who became activists, which the number two book on my list does, and that is Conduct Unbecoming. It was published during that same period when the don't ask, don't tell policies were, as I understand it, uh, moving forward. But that led to a lot of confusion and more injustices in the military. Before I announce number one, please do take the time to like, subscribe, and share this uh, video. And also give us a click on our links above and below. It really does help. The number one book uh, on my list was Martin Duberman's Stonewall, published in 1993. And it delineates the Stonewall riots in New York, and specifically how there were um, you know, mafia ties and, and uh, lack of enforcement or lack of protections from the police and things like that. Please do let me know what you think. Have a great day and thank you again.